Yeah, this is this right here is a federal indictment. It's a federal indictment filed against a man named Shrey Goel, who's believed to be about 36 years old. He's accused of scamming vacationers looking for Airbnbs and other short-term rentals for a great relaxing vacation, only to find out they've become victims. It's a pretty big scam. Faye Barno is a regional director with the Federal Trade Commission. Steve McFarland, he's an L.A. and Silicon Valley CEO with the Better Business Bureau. Both are talking about this federal indictment. What's going on in this situation that we see at BBB are a couple different things, primarily bait and switch. This indictment accuses defendant Shrey Gohl, who's been charged with wire fraud and aggravated identity theft, of operating a short-term property rental business using Airbnb and others in the scheme to separate vacationers from their money. This was pretty well orchestrated. According to the indictment, Gohl and others would overbook rentals, pitting guests against each other. What they're doing is they're seeking a, a bidding war between these prospective guests. Now, they'll take the highest bidder and the, the losing bidders, if you will, uh, and perhaps maybe some of them in this particular uh, matter, uh, they get placed into some subpar uh, properties nearby. According to the court documents, the scheme involved hundreds of properties throughout the United States and California. There are some real properties, but they're continuing to offer them for rental even after they've been booked. There were some fake properties where the addresses don't even exist. And as he's seen in past scams, Steve McFarland says that's when the unsuspecting guests get scammed and tagged with cancellation fees. And they've been hearing about these sort of schemes for years at the Better Business Bureau. It's kind of a, a situation where they're capitalizing on these unsuspecting victims thinking that they're going to get this property and they've been swindled. There are things that we, we do recommend, like um, looking at the listings, uh, seeing if there are reviews. Uh, one thing I saw in the indictment was the allegation that if there were negative reviews, they would delist the property and list it again so it would have a clean history and wouldn't have any negative reviews. In response to our request, Airbnb sent a statement saying Airbnb is built on trust and bad actors have no place in our community. We supported the U.S. Attorney's Office, they say, and the FBI throughout their investigation to help ensure accountability, and we are thankful to them for their work. Shregol was arrested. Airbnb says he's been removed from their platform. He's free on bond. No court date has been set yet, and the U.S. Attorney's Office says they are still investigating. I think as customers we often feel like helpless. Uh, and that feeling of vulnerability is, is real and there are ways you can deal with it. You, of course you can report back uh, anything that you think is wrong uh, to Airbnb or any of these sort of platforms, mm -hmm. but the FTC has on their website, ftc.gov, a portal for any kind of fraud claims. They also have a helpline, 877 FTC help. So there are people out there that want to help. They want to help you, and uh, there are ways to get to and them. Just to get that complaint registered, too. Yeah, right. A lot of people can right, relate right, to right. that. Hal, thank you.